Good morning guys, welcome to another juicy vlog. We're up pretty much the same time as the sun this morning uh, and we are currently in a place called Santa Ana, I think. And we are doing a, tr a trek today to Mount Pinatubo. So it's currently half six in the morning. We're heading to some breakfast now and then we're getting in a four by four and climbing into the mountains. Uh, the wake up call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up call at two o'clock. <laughs> oh. Early. 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 <laughs> Starting off this morning with some coffees. It's a long time since we did a hike, oh, so that? this is going to be fun. I think Bali. But not last Bali, the Bali before. Yeah. <laughs> Lily and my last hike was actually also up a volcano. Ah, uh, yes. And it ended up not too well. It yeah. ended up a really bad situation. We didn't make it up all the way to the top. It was too cold on top. We need to ask because the temperature's on top. Yeah. Yes. And uh, our friend Pierre lost his drone. Oh. Wasn't it like six hours and he kept saying another two, another two? Yeah, it was supposed to be three hours. It ended yeah. up being six hours and we still weren't on top. <laughs> We're told this is just one mm -hmm. hour. Morning, Morning. Ellie. Morning. We're told this is just one hour hiking with some four by four action in between. So hopefully we'll all be good, won't lose any drones. Have a fun day. Living in a sequence, trying not to see it. Need some bliss in the turbulence. If you wanna do the longer hike on your way up, just tell the guide and the driver. No okay, you. <laughs> you just wait for me. This sounds right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because my son waited for you. He's already made his calls. Because he wanted to have me with you guys. If the vehicle is giving you a hard massage, <laughs> tell the guide to slow down. Okay. Got it. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's time to hit the road. Get our four by four. Get this adventure going. Had a pause yet, maxing out my mistakes. All my dreams might be made of gold. This 4x4 we're in is from 1945, which is crazy. We've just stopped at a little tourism office here to sign something uh, and then we'll be back on the road to a little checkpoint here. So this, I think we said in yesterday's vlog, it's a military area. Uh, so when we drove in last night, it was pitch black, it was about midnight and Mike had to give his ID to be able to get through. They checked the boot, uh, there were some guys standing there with these guns and stuff. Uh, it was kind of surprising because we didn't realise. Um, but it's all, it was absolutely fine, the guys were really lovely. Uh, Mike's now got a military ID, which is always good. Um, in replacement for his current ID though, so I don't know what you prefer. Ooh, but... Look at the mountains. Wow, it looks beautiful already. This is why we love the Philippines. This is just incredible. And so unexpected. Like I've never seen terrain like this in the Philippines. Yeah, true. Yeah. Look at this backdrop. So, so cool. Oh, there's something going on here. Party. <laughs> you got me begging pretty please. I'm so hung up on you. lens changing situation uh, but it's absolutely amazing there's like sand just blowing up everywhere it looks so cool isn't it yeah and this huge is crazy. mountains everywhere neither of us have oh. ever seen anything like this in the Philippines or elsewhere this is we didn't expect I don't know I didn't expect it to look like this no. just be so open and mountains either side so, so sandy there's so much there's so much sand around here it's absolutely stunning oh so cool <laughs> This is absolutely incredible. We've just had the most insane drive. 
we've still got like another same amount again uh, and it's just stunning there's like mountains and lakes and cows and horses and sand everywhere I've never seen anything like this in the Philippines like in terms of terrain and this, the whole landscape is just so unusual it's incredible so much fun guys Yes. Insane. High five. High five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So the area we're in right now on Google Maps is showing up that it's like water, a lake. So I'm guessing that when it's not like dry season, when it's like wet season here, maybe this is all water. Yes. But it's super bumpy and Mike's very glad he got his gimbal because he's going to have some nice stabilised footage, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Jurassic Park or something. Like this this is, scenery I've never is seen anything like this. It's like something out of a movie. Yeah. It looks like a film set, basically. Yeah. yeah. And you'd expect like big coaches to be here ready for filming or something. No, it just looks like, I don't know, it all looks like thousands of animals. Just what's that? Is it Ice Age or something when ice all those age, animals yeah. like walk for like days? Yeah, you're so thousands right. of animals. Yeah. Looks like it that. It feels like that, doesn't it? It definitely doesn't feel like it's Earth. <laughs> the same time as we are living now, does it? Yeah, it's crazy. Earth, thanks. <laughs> So our guys have said this looks like Toblerone chocolate. It does. It looks so yummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yummy for good taste. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Wow. I cannot believe this Jeep's like 70 years old and it's doing what it's doing. It's being like put through its paces, uh, massive rocks and like through rivers and loads of sand. It's just really <laughs> taking a beating, but it's so really cool. Look at it. It's awesome. I'd love one of these. <laughs> we should get one. Yeah. For, the, for the next road trip. Yeah, road trip it's honestly days like this and moments like this where we just love what we do, we love travel, we love seeing new places and just experiencing what this world has to offer like in the most incredible way, just taking a jeep, taking some friends, some cameras, just going off, driving off, coming across stuff like this, just absolutely what I love, incredible. What I love is that it's only 8 in the morning and we've done all this, like wow. it makes me so excited. I love days like this and we're not even at the lake, we're not even at the thing that we're here to see and I feel completely satisfied, like more than satisfied. It's, I never expected to, to have this whole journey up to. I know Mike and Nelly have said before, like, uh, I can't remember the phrase in German, but uh, the road is the goal, not the end destination. Yeah, the journey's, the journey's always the best yeah. bit. So the plan now is to hop back in the Jeep for a little bit, yeah. go further down the road, and then we're gonna start our hike up. Sorry. Look how shaky oh, it is yeah. on the engine, it's going no 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 no. <laughs> We're going to start our hike up into the mountain, into the volcano, um, so see exciting. this lake. We're incredibly excited. We've also got some chicken adobo for lunch. Wow, we're about, to, okay, I thought this is where we stopped. We're driving through a river and there's like a huge drop either side. Oh my god. I oh, thought yeah. we, oh wow, 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 wow. Let me put the camera around when I hit Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to wash his feet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, holding on now. Wow. <laughs> Yay. We made it through. <laughs> this is the best day ever! It really is! <laughs> <laughs> so just when we think it can't get better than Whoa. this, it keeps getting better! I mean, what? Oh wow! <laughs> 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 this Jeep is amazing! It yeah. is! Really, it is! is. A beast. Whoa. This is crazy. <laughs> this this Jeep, this 4x4 is a powerful, powerful machine. It's getting us through this really incredible rocky terrain. It's just unlike anything we've seen. So cool. You normally wouldn't even try and come here <laughs> unless you had some kind of machine like this. Would Richie have made it? <laughs> oh hell no. Yeah, yeah, Well with with Mike driving, maybe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we just stopped in the middle of this lake and we were like, what's going on? Uh, because we thought we'd like broken down. Because obviously it's very old, this Jeep. Not that I'm talking about the other way. It's a very old Jeep. Uh, but we're just refilling the coolant with the water from the lake. Makes sense. Ready to start the hike up to the actual volcano to the lake. Ooh. Oh, that was the funkiest ride of my life. <laughs> it was, a whole it was so it was cool. Was it mine? We've just arrived at the little Remember stop. There's something? a few other before by force here, but it's really not <laughs> feeling very touristy, is it at all? Like, no we, way. No one, like one, one other four by four passed us on the way up, uh, but no one else. And it feels, it's so cool. It feels like we're basically the only ones here. Um, but we now got a three kilometre hike. I think it used to be like seven kilometres, but they bought it forwards because they had like heavy machinery to move some of the ro rocks out the way. Um, so now we can like, get much closer, which is cool. Um, so we really, yeah, really enjoyed that drive, it was very bumpy. Um, but now we've got a nice walk, stretch our legs for a few kilometres, and then get to the lake. A few varieties of 4x4, four four, just parked up wherever they feel like. Uh, this is like cleaning one over there in the lake. Yeah, the this kind of feels like a bit of a undiscovered land. Still untouched by like a mass tourism kind of industry. So I think, um, great experience for us. Do you, uh, th you think there's a Starbucks around here? I think I saw uh, the sign just over there, yeah. Three kilometers this way. Like uh, an Arabica? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh -oh. started the hike um, it's going quite well it's, it's flat so far yes, but I think it's about to get a little bit steeper um, it's three kilometers total and are we halfway oh cool one kilometer more is it more steep uh, no, no. Oh, still flat oh cool. still flat so we're uh, two-thirds of the way in and it stays flat to like luscious jungle with like waterfalls and loads of green uh, and it's a lot cooler now what are these oh don't know some kind of like i don't want to touch it just in case some kind of berry all of us have said how nice it is to be back out in the countryside in the fresh air just hear the water running 
being kind of pretty much the only ones out here. Um, it's, kind of, it's more relaxing than the city. We love changing out. We love seeing loads of different places, but it's been a little while since we've been out here somewhere like this and somewhere that's incredible and stunning. This is exactly why we love the Philippines. We've said it before. It's just so, so varied. Like yesterday we're in Manila in a big city and then a couple hours drive and you can be somewhere like this. Almost there. Wow. Oh my God. Here we go. See the lake. Oh yeah. It's so peaceful. Yeah. You can just hear like insects and that's it. So quiet. It's amazing. That's stunning. This is the part that we've been waiting for. Oh, worth the early start, worth the hike, worth the bumpy ride. This, this is incredible. This looks like, um, this looks like a lake I've seen only in photos and videos in Canada. This is, wow. Absolutely unbelievable. but this is what I imagine it's to look like. I just said that. Did you? It's like, like the lake yeah. is just so big and like flat. Look and at it. Huge mountains around. It's stunning. All the different shapes on the mountain and the white cliffs just here and the green. Yeah. Possibly the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It just keeps getting better and better. There's some people down there. I think you can camp here on this little beach area. Gonna chill here for a little bit. Enjoy a cup of coffee. Oh, oh, that's quite good actually. It's not bad for volcano coffee. <laughs> yeah, and we're just gonna enjoy the view here for a little bit. Have a look back at some of the drone footage and photos we've been taking today. Some of the stuff we've been able to capture has just been absolutely incredible. So uh, firstly, everyone's gonna look like a superhero with this, I'm trying to stop myself getting sunburnt. <laughs> and secondly, it's time for some lunch. We've got chicken adobo, I think. Uh, One of my favorite Filipino food. It looks Wow. Yes. Yeah. Cutlery. We got the actual chicken adobo. Nice egg in there with it. I'm Ooh, guessing that over here. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, food. <laughs> <laughs> After some contemplating uh, and lots of discussions, we decided that we do want to come and see the lake because uh, we weren't sure we were up there and we said it's amazing. Uh, do we want to head back? Do we want to start the hike back? Because obviously we've got that after our food. Um, and then we were like, nah, come on. We're just here once. Let's go, yeah, that's Let's go the see thing. the lake. And I think it's going to be worth it. You have to take these opportunities when they're presented to you. You never know if you'll come here again. Oh, ho, ho. Amazing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at the reflection on the water. Oh, it's wow. Absolutely insane. Worth coming down. I'm glad we did it. Remember to give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> that bounced all around these hills. It's <laughs> turned into children now. What are we doing? Can actually come and camp down here. I've seen people do that. And then you just wake up here with this view to make a cup of coffee, watch the sunrise. I'm not sure if the sunrise is here or not, but in any case, that would be quite the experience just to wake up here. And I think you'd get pretty quiet night's sleep as well. No air conditioning units or chickens. So what are your guesses for the temperature of the water, hot or cold? I think, I don't know. I I think it might be warm here because it's shallow it's gonna be cold. and it gets the sun. It's cold, I was right. Is it cold? Yeah, it's Aww. so clear. Yeah, it is incredibly clear. Okay, it's time for us to head back up the top 
get back in the 4x4, back over the rocky terrain. I think they're going to let Mike have a drive, so that could be interesting. And then we're going to hit the road this afternoon, heading to our next destination. Okay, so we are currently on a bit of a detour and Mike's helping us get through this tiny little gap with the car. Oh my god, my baby, yeah. Hi. Hey, smile. <laughs> <laughs> You're so so beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Cool. So many smiley faces here on there. I know, it's crazy. Crazy. Huh? Well done, George. Good driving. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> So there was just a very risky little ledge um, to take the car up, so Mike had to hop out oh, to, to see us up. We're going oh, straight. Thank you. We're going straight, hon. Thank you. So many kids here, it's crazy. Lots of kids, lots of dogs, lots of cats. So many ways. Hi! It's face. beautiful! Hello! <laughs> Hi! Hello! <laughs> And just like that, we are in Baguio, in an apartment set up very, very kindly by one of you guys. You sent us a message on Facebook, you were like, I've got an apartment in Baguio, you guys can stay if you want. So we are here. Sorry for the vlog suddenly flipping here, but um, been on the road for a couple of hours. It was a good drive. Such a good day today. Um, we need some sleep now, so we'll show you around this place tomorrow a bit better, in case any of you guys want to stay here as well. They've got this place up on Airbnb, so we'll probably do a proper tour tomorrow. But for now, we need some sleep. A huge thanks again to Alvin and Angie today for such an incredible day of tour. I actually want to watch this vlog. I want to watch the vlog that you've just watched. We had such a good day. There is a link below. We highly recommend that you do this trip if you're in the area. It's such a good experience. It's like a unique experience. I've wasn't any tourists there. It was so, so good. You can stay with them. They arranged the whole tour. Um, there is a link in the description of that if you're interested. Thanks for watching today, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel.